Let's first gather our materials. What you will need will be food coloring. If you don't have food coloring, you can also use tempera paint, Ziploc bags, a pen, scissors, a toilet paper roll, wax paper, tape. If you have a silicone mold, I would also recommend using it, but if you don't, you can go ahead and make your own. A tablespoon measurement, water, and plaster of Paris. All right, so this is for you guys that don't have a silicone mold. We can go ahead and make our own. So we're gonna first start off by taking our toilet paper roll and placing it over the wax paper. With our pen, we are gonna trace the bottom of our toilet paper roll. And then we will be cutting a square that is larger than that circle because we don't want there to be too little wax paper because this will cause our plaster to start leaking from the bottom. So try to make it two or three times bigger than your circle and this will really help to prevent leaking. So after we're done, cut some pieces of tape so you can have them ready. And you will place your toilet paper down on the table vertically, put your wax paper over and wrap it around. And once you've already wrapped it, you can just take your tape or rubber bands and go ahead and tie it and secure the wax paper to your toilet paper roll. Make sure to add a few layers just to make sure you don't get any leaking, okay? And we can set this aside and use it for later. We're gonna take the remaining supplies and we're gonna take a Ziploc bag. We're gonna open it up and pour in half a cup of water. Okay, once we have half a cup, we can take our food coloring and we're gonna add four to five drops of food coloring. If you are doing tempera paint, you will put four to five tablespoons of tempera paint. Okay, so you will mix it in and then close the bag and swish it around. Make sure that the paint and the water are for thoroughly incorporated. And you can do this with more than one color, so you can have variations of chalk. I went ahead and did it with the second color. I did the same thing. I added half a cup of water, four to five, maybe six drops of food coloring, and then I shook my bag. You can also mix colors. Like you can see for the original color I did, I added red since I wasn't happy with the original color. You can also change or mix different colors. It all depends on the colors you want your chalk to be at the end. Okay, so once you have the color bag and water ready, you're gonna open them again and you're gonna slowly start adding a tablespoon of plaster at a time. I would recommend wearing gloves at this time so you don't get any plaster on you. But if you don't have any, you can also go ahead and just be really careful. Make sure it doesn't touch your hands. So we're going to add one tablespoon at a time. And you will just add until you start to see your plaster become very thick and creamy like. What The consistency, I would say, would be more like a sour cream or a very thick yogurt. But... For this measurement of half a cup, I added around 10 to 14 tablespoons per baggie. It could be more or less depending on how big your spoons are or your scoops are. Once you're done, you're going to close the baggie and with your hand, you're going to squish around the plaster. Make sure there are no clumps. You can also add more if your plaster is very watery. Make sure everything is thoroughly mixed and also that the color is mixed as well. You can bring out your molds. So you can either use your homemade mold with the toilet paper or use your silicone mold. 
So you are going to take the baggie and taking one of, make sure it's closed, taking the bottom corner, you're going to just pinch it, press the liquid down and snip the tip of that little corner. This will create a little opening and it will be easy to pour out your plaster without a big mess. And you can just pour it into your mold. It could be the toilet paper roll or your your silicone mold. And then if you have any remaining plaster, you can either use it on other molds or just throw it away. So here I'm just filling in the rest of my mold and I'm doing the same with my other color, snipping the little corner and then pouring into my little mold. And you will just take your mold and lift it and gently tap it back and forth a few times onto your table or the floor just to make sure the air bubbles are released. You can also do it for your own homemade mold. Just We're just trying to make sure all the air bubbles are out. This will make our chalk a little bit stronger and not as brittle. You can also just leave it on the surface and tap the surface to make the bubbles rise as well. And then once you're done, you will put them in the freezer for around one to three hours, depending on your preference or however long you want to leave them in there. But I would suggest leaving them in just enough that your plaster has hardened, but it is cool to the touch. But if it's ready, you can then just go ahead and pop them out of the mold since silicone will release them or just peel away the cardboard from the toilet paper roll. And then you can just go ahead and start using them.